This Tuesday thought will be mercifully short because Nancy Iacomini and Tracy Millar are busy arranging flowers for Mike Hutzel's funeral tomorrow. Mike, though not a member of this parish, um, knew this was a place that his family could be strengthened and comforted. It was again a reminder that we are here not for ourselves alone, but we're here for this community, frankly for all of Arlington, even the nation and the world, if you really want to know. So I'm so grateful because flowers don't just get arranged without the ministry of people making the effort and the time and the commitment. I hope that all of us will remember that God needs each of us to exercise our ministries if the common good is going to be served. Let me also just say that last Sunday at Wilderness Church, we had over 80 people. And as we were on the banks of the Potomac, um, our church school classes began their session on care of creation, one of the priorities our vestry has set for the parish. This Sunday at nine o'clock, the Wild, the band that has been formed to play and lead worship at Wilderness Church will be leading the music um, here in the nave. Yeah, I hope you'll take advantage of it. Last thing, I just want to remind you that the annual meeting of the parish is Sunday, May 7th at 10 a.m. here in the nave. There will be no 7.30 service that morning to encourage that congregation to uh, either come at 9 or 11.15 and to participate in the councils of the church. But again, from 10 to 11 will be the annual meeting of the parish. We'll elect a vestry. We'll hear um, from leadership in the vestry and have a chance to um, just thank God for this parish and for one another. Thanks very much and a special thanks to Tracy and Nancy.